Welcome to my channel. I'm the Therapist Nomad and I'm here to show you how to do Capri right. But first things first, don't forget to support me. I do put a lot of time, effort and love into my videos. So take just one second to go and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos and also subscribe on the bell so you can get notifications when I make a new video. Just so you know, Frank Sinatra said once, it was on the Isle of Capri that I found her. I'm sure that he said that for various reasons. It's not only that Capri is a beautiful place with a great scenery, wonderful views, but also beautiful women walking around and looking at the ocean. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and do a quick hashtag search about Capri and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you're looking for a girlfriend, this may be a good place to start. But let's get serious. I want to let you know how to do Capri right because I did not do my research before going. I was super busy with my mom visiting. I didn't have time to do all of my research about how to do Capri right. And I do have an amazing friend that warned me about this, but I didn't listen. So don't do that. And I guess I'm referring to the people that want to do uh, a quick visit to Capri. So a day trip or maybe two days. There are many things that you can do in the island, but you have to calculate your timing well. So for that, I have the perfect itineraries for you. Option A, that's going to include how to do Capri with all of the fanciness that you would want to experience there. Option B, it's going to include more rooms for adventures and going there with a smaller budget. All right, let's get started. First, let's get those ferry tickets. This is the website that I used and in here you can see all of the ports that you can travel from and to Capri and for the first line just pick Capri and then you're gonna pick your routes. I travel from Naples so I put Naples here, Naples to Capri. On the second line you're going to put Capri to Naples because you're going back to your port. Then you pick your dates. Let's see, you're going on Saturday and it's just for one person so you can see the prices for each person and then you say that you are not bringing a car is best if you don't, you really don't need a car there. Okay, and here are the time options to go from Naples to Capri. Usually prices don't go over the 30 euro price. So let's say that you want to get there in the morning. Let's pick this 7 a.m. And then you're going to pick your uh, times from Capri to Naples. Let's say you're going to go there at 9 to 10 p.m. arriving back to Naples, which is actually a lot of time. When I went, I just spent eight hours there, but it's up to you, really. And here are the results. Um, usually per person to go back and forth will be around 50 euros. Let's say, yeah, this is the price per person. So there you go. Obviously, if you're coming from Rome, it's going to be more expensive than this because you do have to pay for your train tickets to go back and forth. So expect to spend about one to 150 euros in transportation only and expect to bring with you one to 150 euros so you can spend the day there. Capri is not a cheap destination. Okay, for those of you who want to do the upscale fancy visit, try to arrive around 9 to 10 a.m. Once you get to the port, you can get a taxi to go to Via San Michele in Anna Capri. I recommend you visit the dream home of the Swedish physician Axel Monte. This place is beautiful and great for pictures, so take amazing pictures, enjoy the history and enjoy the views. The place is open from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and the price to enter is 10 euros. Next, visit one of the most featured restaurants in Capri for lunch. You can do your own research, but some recommendations include Bagni Tiberio, Il Geranio, or Terrazzo. There's also Haute Cuisine for fine dining at Gennaro Amitrano, or Terraza di Lucolo for beach views. After your meal, I recommend you take a private boat tour. Of course, book this in advance, check out the website viator.com. As a therapist nomad, I do use Viator a lot to schedule tours and fun things to do in the cities that I visit. I did not particularly choose any of the tours to go to Capri just because as I said, I didn't do all of my research, but there are two packets that I think are really good. I'm going to mention them here in my videos, but also I'm going to leave the links in the comments below so you can click and see the reviews, the details and book them if you like them. All right, guys, as I just said, this option looks amazing it has five star reviews and you're not going to regret it it's best to do a private tour it's for seven people around three hundred dollars and you can find the link in the comments below try to do this tour around 3 p.m because anyway most of the restaurants are going to be closed so this is your time to enjoy the sea and a tour around the island 
It will take you about two hours and coming up next, make your way to Piazza Umberto I for an amazing time where everything happens. This area is full of supermodels, celebrities, beautiful people, so bring your best outfit to enjoy the scenery. You can enjoy an Aperol Spritz and if you're still hungry, you can also have dinner there. But in general, this area is for you to sit back, relax, people watch, enjoy the true Capri, go get some fancy shopping, and yeah, that's how we do it in Capri. In terms of transportation, you can get another taxi or you can also use the funicular, which is pretty cheap and has an amazing view. This one is for those of you who are looking for adventure. Maybe you're running on a smaller budget and that's perfectly fine because hey, you can still do Capri. In terms of your boat tour around the island, I have two options for you. One is a private tour that is more affordable, it's about $70. And then the cheapest option is to book your tour right there and then when you arrive to the island. Hey guys, we are in Capri and immediately we got our tour to go uh, around the island. It's a two hour tour for 19 euros and if you only want to do the Grotto, Blue Grotto, it's 18 euros. So for one more euro, you do the whole island. First, we're gonna eat because you know I'm all about food and then we're gonna go get our tour. Some cons about this tour is that it is not private. It's going to be with strangers and you're not going to be able to go down in the water or anything like that. You have to follow instructions. So I kind of regret this part of my trip. I wish I would have booked something private. So again, the link is going to be down below in my comments in case you want to book one with Viator. I think it's been halfway of the tour, right? Yes. And then we got to stop in where the caves of Grotto, I believe that's the name. The Blue Grotto. Blue Grotto are. However, we have to pay 14 extra euros to go inside and they take you in and you stay there for eight to ten minutes and then yeah you're gonna see how small the cave is you have to like literally just like like duck you have to duck in order to come in uh there you go you're gonna see it right now pro tip during this tour ask the skipper to let you off at the stairs next to the grotto instead of taking the boat back to Marina Grande. Why? Because if you climb the stairs right here, you're gonna be able to hop on the bus to Ana Capri so you don't have to waste time in the long line to get to the bus to the terminal in Marina Grande. Now, if this is not possible, then simply get back to the port, get a snack at Salumeria da Aldo, which is delicious, and buy your funicular ticket to get to Capri town. That's where the magic is at. Look around, get a limoncello spritz, take a snack, but make sure that you get to the bus station as soon as you can so you can hop on your bus to Ana Capri. And now remember that Capri Town is your middle point to get buses that will take you to different stops within the city. For more information on transportation and other important things around Capri, visit Capri.com. This website will make your life much easier. But as I was saying just now, this is your midpoint to choose where you want to go. And there are several options that I would like to share with you. If you want to visit the highest point in the island, you got to go to Mount Solado. It is 589 meters above the sea level and is the most panoramic point on the island. To get there, you have to take your bus from Piazza Umberto I and then that will take you to Piazza Vittoria in Anacapri. Once you're there, ask around about the stairs that are going to lead you to the chairlift in Ana Capri and simply enjoy. And if you're in Ana Capri, why not visit Villa San Michele? As I said earlier, it's only 10 euros. If you want to be moved by a unique view, you must absolutely visit the lighthouse of Punta Carena. Do not expect any sandy beaches in this island do expect beautiful rocks and pebbles. Also, you must know that there are some beaches that are only accessible by boat. Some beaches include Marina Grande, which is the one that I went to. There's also Palazzo Amare. There are some beaches in Marina Piccola, Punta Tragara, and also in Punta Carena where the lighthouse is at. Catch a beautiful sunset and take a bunch of pictures by Piazzetta. 
shop around the cute boutiques at the port of Marina Grande. La campanita è il simbolo della isla e la storia cuenta che l'Angue San Miguel regalò un campanito a un niño muy pobre e dice cada vez suonerà stesso campanito mucha cosa lì e quindi non te ne puede ir sin campana perché con campanita vita más bonita. <laughs> There to get some handmade customized sandals. And the good news is that that's not all. Visit Capri.com for more information. There's still more things to see like beautiful gardens, other amazing views, rock climbing, hiking trails. And if you like walking like us, you can also go on walking adventures. I did say that my next video is going to be in Dubai, but I forgot that I did go to Capri first. So that's why this video today is about Capri, but I'm gonna work very, very hard to make Dubai happen for next week. See you soon.